This is The Beat, a conversation about the Charleston County Sheriff's Office and our community. I'm your host, Oshie Alford. Hello again and welcome to The Beat. I am your hostess, Oshie Alford, and with me I have yet again... Sheriff Graziano. Sheriff Graziano. So we've got back to school coming up, which is exciting for, I think, the adults more than <laughs> the kids. Back to school, they just, summer just started. Doesn't it's it like, feel like that? I, I can't believe this. I don't have kids, little ones at home anymore. So, no, this, this, that is an exciting time for parents. It was for me anyway, uh, well, when the kids are going back. Well, and, you know, hopefully the roads will stay clear. <laughs> It'll fill up again. So it used to be this, um, we couldn't wait for the summer because you can get to school on, or you can get to work on time because you could leave it a normal time and it'd be relatively smooth going after, because there were no school buses. Mm -hmm. Now that's not the case. That's true. You're going to run into it either way. traffic everywhere now. So I guess we should plan accordingly and probably leave even earlier and all that fun stuff. Yeah, definitely when the buses get back on the road for sure. So I know we've got a bunch of back to school activities that we do here at the Sheriff's Office. So we do the donations for school supplies. Yeah, so we just started the donations uh, for school supplies at the Sheriff's Office so uh, folks can bring in uh, supplies and and drop them off at six different locations. There's two downtown at the uh, courthouse, one at the juvenile detention center, one at the main main jail, the lobby, and then two here at the sheriff's office, two locations. I think that's awesome. Have you guys heard that there was that poem and it was about, cause I didn't have a pencil and it was this whole long thing about how he just had like the worst day ever and he failed his class because he didn't have a pencil to do his assignment. I haven't heard that poem, but maybe you should oh my recite gosh. it. Well, I don't remember, I don't have it memorized. <laughs> Sorry, maybe I should have planned a little bit better if I was gonna mention it, but it was this awesome poem that they had us um, when I was doing my undergrad and I took some education classes Um, that was one of the examples they gave us and so it's a really big deal I think that we are taking in school supplies and things so you can make sure that you have the tools necessary to do your learning without having to stress and worry about it right and then you hear more and more stories I worked in the schools for about nine years um, right yeah you were an SRO yeah and uh, you see the story you see it every day teachers going reaching into their pockets to pull out uh, their own money um, to buy supplies for kids that just didn't have that happened all the time Mm -hmm. and this is just an effort to help teachers not to have to do that but also to give that kid that pencil Mm -hmm. so that they can be successful it's the little things that help to kind of avalanche into this big thing and it's gonna be this great success for everybody. Um, But I know we've got all kinds of different drives coming up. What was it like being an SRO? So I I can say this now because um, before I didn't want anyone to take my job, Uh but I thought it was the best kept secret uh, in the agency. A lot of people would say, there's no way I'm gonna go deal with kids and behavior problems all day and then have to go home to my own kids and Really, it was uh, it was probably the, I couldn't wait to get to work. It was the most rewarding job. I had some difficult locations that I worked with. I, I worked with the discipline schools and a, a lot of the kids uh, needed you. They needed that structure. They needed that somebody to listen to. So I loved it every day. You know, before eight o'clock, more kids come in with more baggage than you'll, you'll see in a lifetime and you're able to help problem solve the, and get these kids uh, where they needed to be. Not all of them were successful, but but the, they definitely, uh, they crave that, that structure and that somebody that actually cares about them. But I, it was the best job I ever had. Second best. I had a lot of fun with our best. SROs. <laughs> Cause they would, they would come and sit with us during lunch and they chat with us. And it was just kind of cool to have an adult that was not necessarily like one of, I guess they're an authority figure, but you almost don't think of them as one because, I mean, unless you're running into trouble, it's not. Yeah, it puts a, it humanizes uh, what these guys do in the in the schools. I mean, we have, a, you know, pretty big school resource program, and every every time I speak to parents and every time I speak to to administrators in the school, they love their SROs and they know everything about them and. And the SRO knows everything about the family, and you know they can tell you it, well, you know what's going on. Why, if a kid comes in in a, uh, in, in not not the same or in a different mood, they know that something's out of sort, and they go talk to them, and they can always figure it out. It's a really unique uh, experience, um, but it takes a, a a unique person to be able to, to to do that. Second best job I've ever had. So I know we've got a lot of events coming up to do school supply donations. What do we have coming up? 
So each week, um, the week of August or the month of August, we have a an event going on in in the neighborhoods. Um, there's one that we're participating in on August 5th at Lincolnville Town Hall, and that's not just back to school stuff. That's also food and hygiene supplies. Uh, we're just participating in that, so that's August 5th. Um, August 12th in the town of Hollywood. Uh, we do this every year with our friends at Rick Hendrick. Uh, Volvo, it's a back to school event, but it's games, it's um, backpacks, it's supplies, it's food, it's just a big event, like a almost like a festival mm -hmm. of going back to school. We have people come out and speak. That's on August 12th. On the 19th, uh, we're doing with our friends at Motivate to Educate and the Joy Law Firm. Uh, we'll, we'll be supplying all the food and handing out, I think they said 300 backpacks full of supplies. So Whoa. it's a pretty big event. Uh, last year we did that as well and we ran out of food. So if that tells you anything. And then on the 26th is our kind of our tradition in Lincolnville. Um, take, uh, it, it's uh, Take Back Our Village. It's with the town of Lincolnville and the community. And it's a really big event and uh, folks can come out and probably um, dunk me in the dunk tank and it, it's it's again it's one of those festivals it's getting the kids excited about going back to school getting the parents excited about the kids going back to school <laughs> and feeding them and and also uh, last year i think we had jump castles we had displays with the, they got to play with the fire department uh, hose and they got to run underneath the hose for the fire department right on the ball field so it's it's a good time so is every single one of those a Saturday? It is. Every single one of those is a Saturday. That's great yes. for scheduling purposes. Yes. Awesome. And then so we're we're giving out free stuff, which is great. Free Who stuff is love always free good. stuff and that's school related free stuff. School related free stuff and food. And food. Yeah. And a dunk tank potentially with you in no, it. No, there's definitely going to be a dunk tank. There might be some demonstrations with um with some robots or some uh, last year i think we also had uh the drones out and oh the wow kids were watching the drones and we did some really cool videos with them cool so it's it's a little bit so it's back to school but it's also just kind of our engagement with the community you guys can come out talk with us get to know us a little bit better we can get to know you a little bit better and just have an overall good time that's a long day that one in lincolnville uh starts at 10 o'clock and it's till two and it's it's just four hours of of fun. So those dates again are the 5th? 5th, 12th, 19th, and 26th. So every Saturday of August. Yeah, and we'll, we'll post it on all of our social media so that, that folks are aware of it. But yeah, come out, enjoy the fun, meet the uh, the, the deputies that work, work those areas, mingle with our community engagement, and I'll be at all of them as well. Mm -hmm. Get your school supplies so you guys uh, will pass your classes because you have a pencil. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. And uh, tune in for future episodes. And again, remember those dates. We do have donation bins. Get involved. Back to school. Thank you, Oosh. Appreciate you. This has been The Beat, a conversation about the Charleston County Sheriff's Office and our community. I'm your host, Oshi Alford. Look for future episodes by following the Charleston County Sheriff's Office on Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.